Hello everyone, I have notes for page 637, one through six, simplify each expression. Okay, if you look at our first example here, look, if you notice under the root we have this five and five, so we can combine these. You just add the coefficients together, you get 18 root five, okay? The value under the root kind of works like x. Think of it as eight x plus 10 x equals 18 x. That's how this works. Okay, again, think of it as 5x plus 10x, okay? The square root of 3 is working like x. So 5 plus 10 is 15, and then you just bring over the square root of 3. The square root of 7 minus 4 square root of 7, that is the same thing as 1 times the square root of 7 minus 4 times the square root of 7, okay? You're subtracting the coefficients. So it's going to be 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 root 7. Okay. So it's like 1x minus 4x. Negative 3x. Or in this case, 1 root 7 minus 4 root 7 is negative 3 root 7. Next one. Just like C. Okay. 10 minus 8 is 2. And square root of 13 just comes over. Okay, if you notice here, we don't have the same value under the root, but we can make this 20 become the square root of 5 if we uh, factor and simplify. This is 4 times the square root of 5 plus 6 times the square root of 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, all of this is 4 root 5 plus 6 times 2 times the square root of 5, which is 4 root 5 plus 12 root 5. 4 plus 12 is 16, so the final answer is 16 root 5. Next one. Okay, same thing here. The square root of 20, you can write that as... 5 times 2 times 2 minus the square root of 5. You can factor a, a 2 out here, or pull a 2 out. So it's 2 root 5 minus the square root of 5. Now the square root of 5 is the same thing as 1 root 5. Okay, subtract your coefficients. 2 minus 1 is just 1, so you have 1 root 5, which is the same thing as the square root of 5.